Hey guys, how's it going? This is Bobby Kryptonite here, and welcome to another Bobby K Bikes video. Now, as you remember, we went to Southport last week, and I never actually showed you the bike once it was complete. So, as you'll have seen from the video, the chopper got built, and I took it to Southport, I rode it 10 miles, and it worked. Um, so, I'll show you it in a little more detail. So here's my chopper in her complete for now glory. One of my friends very kindly gave me a Mark III front wheel as a spare. Um, and he told me that if I went a bit crazy with the aluminium polish I could bring this rim up really nicely. So I might do that so that I can give that wheel back to my Mark I RSW. Um, I went for a gold Diacompe 80s BMX front caliper that had been lying around in my spares for years. My friend Ron very kindly gave me some lights. These were on a super grifter that he bought recently, but he didn't care for them that much, so he just gave them to me. I might not use them on the chopper, I might put them on something else, but I've put, I put them on the chopper in Southport just to keep weight out of my bag. There's also a bottle dynamo, this nice little rear lamp. My toggle chain, which I, I dug up in the garden. My friends had a good laugh about that when I told them. Um, they gave me a joke of, what's the definition of an optimist? A man who reckons he can buy something in Scotland and sell it in Yorkshire for a profit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm half Scottish, half Yorkshire, so we all had a good laugh. And uh, I didn't have the right bits to wire up the gear cable, so I'm afraid here it's just all held together with cable ties. But it keeps enough tension in the cables that I get the three distinct positions. Um, the gears shift nicely. As you can see, I went for the 46 tooth crank set. And my chainring was originally bent, and I couldn't backpedal or let the bike roll too far backwards, otherwise the chain would derail. But Ron very kindly straightened it out for me on the ride, just with a shifting spanner, much like he did for this piece of the frame, as you may have seen in the Southport video. So the bike actually came back from the ride better than it went out. Um, we've got our luggage rack, got our springs. I've actually got a proper chopper seat to go on here, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, got my paint pen out and wrote Southport or Bus 2018 on one side of the frame and the URL for the YouTube channel on the other side of the frame. I also did this as a little for a little laugh. I'm afraid to say my jokey shifter cover nearly lost me the bike. When I was on the train back home, the ticket inspector came round and said to me that this guy had come up to him and asked if he could have this chopper. And thankfully, bureaucracy saved me. The ticket inspector told him he wasn't allowed to tell him he could take it away. This guy, apparently, thought that sorry, no money for shifter meant I'm sorry, I didn't have the money to pay someone to haul this junk away, so I'm abandoning it here. <laughs> so I very nearly lost my bike. Uh, had a good laugh about it. I mean, as I had the URL on there, it would have been kind of funny if the guy had taken it and then gone to rebuild it, seen that there, looked it up and found a video of me saying someone on a train stole my chopper. <laughs> so um that was a near one. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna rip that off of there and just uh try and buy a normal shifter. <laughs> As you can see, we have the bike's current name, Spare's Bin Special, on my shifter cover but that's not going to be its name for long. When it's rebuilt, it'll have a different name, which will be unveiled nearer the time. We ended up inserting the cut-up bars into a different stem, just because uh, the previous stem didn't have a captive nut or a means of properly tightening it down, so it wasn't tightening properly. Got a three-speed trigger shift up here. And this is a handy little tick trick that I use when I'm on trains with bikes. You've got one of these old 70s style bells. If you unscrew it a little, just slot your cycle reservation in, tighten it back up, it should keep it nicely clamped. I bought this seat from Kurt on the Chopper Facebook group for £45. I think it's pretty good. It's got a few little marks there, but I'll cover those with black tape for now. I'll, I'll end up recovering the seat and I might end up just getting a seat restoration kit when I'm restoring the bike, but this will do me for now. Um, it's a good solid looking seat. My chopper will finally have the proper seat. 
got the post that swivels out and everything. Trouble is, I don't have the seat bolt. So if I want to run this seat at the, the Scottish ride, I'm probably going to have to either make something or see if someone will sell me a, a bolt and bring it to the, to the ride. But uh, no, it's the bike's beginning to shape up. I'm pretty pleased. So that was a little tour of the chopper in its current state. I had been hoping that I'd get it ripped apart, give it a quick primer respray, maybe do a bit of fancy spray printing, blow some metal flake on it, get it looking ratty but decent in time for the Scottish ride this weekend, but I'm afraid that hasn't happened. So if I make it to the Scottish ride out, it will be with the same ratty chopper that I took to the Southport ride out. But here's hoping we'll do a little quick respray that will stop it rusting up over the winter very soon. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you did, please leave a like, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. Tatty bye.